So if I press T in this game, I get to meow. No need to review the rest of the game. It's time to hand out the Game of the Year award. Hey, hello everyone, my name is EK, and yesterday I opened up Steam and noticed a demo for a game called Ultra Mega Cats. With such a name, my curiosity was piqued, and I half expected to die of weep overload. Fortunately though, I was wrong. Ultra Mega Cats is a reasonably early development roguelike game. It has all the gameplay elements of a roguelike, with none of the progression at the time of writing, but I'll come back to that in just a moment. As you can see from the footage rolling in the background, this is a third-person shooter where you, well, play as a cat. You have two different characters in this demo, one being a bulky but reasonably slow machine gun character with some solid AoE damage, the other one being an archer with a high single target damage profile and a lot of mobility. As I brought my friend along, we played in co-op, we went back and forth and tried the two different classes to get a bit of a feel for the style and for our personal preference. We soon realize the archer has infinite sustain and is just the overall better character at this point in time. Fortunately, we were able to just both play this character and double up on the fun. The game is set up in a back-to-back -back chain of mob rooms into loot rooms. Until you finally get to the boss. In these loot rooms, you get to either pick a new perk, as you would with most roguelikes, or upgrade an existing perk. While some definitely felt sort of impactful, I do feel like there's a big lack of excitement in these drops. But then again, the game is most likely not close to being finished at all. It took us four runs to beat the whole game, which equaled to about 51 minutes where we spent a lot of time messing about and we actually kind of broke out of the lobby as well, which I'm not sure was intended, but hey, we did it. Unfortunately, on the third run, we did clear the last room before the boss, but then somehow we could not continue. I'm thinking this was possibly because I had died and the game somehow didn't let the combat end even though my friend had cleared the room. The overall vibe of the game is really good though. The graphics are good enough to support the art style, the music is solid and the gameplay feels good overall. I was a bit sad to notice however that the music for the boss fight was the same as the music that played everywhere else. The game has a couple things that I would definitely want to change before being fully released. So this next section I want to treat as sort of a feedback section for the development team. So if you're listening, take notes. First of all, there's a clear lack of settings. I wasn't able to change the mouse sensitivity in the game and I had to go outside the game and change it there. While not a big problem, I would like to be able to set my sensitivity for every game specifically, especially for a shooter game. I also noticed that while the player that creates the lobby gets an overview of the controls, the second player to join the room does not. This might make new players miss out on valuable information as the likeliness of a new player joining the experienced one is much bigger than the other way around. Moving on, I noticed that the tab button would often not open up the inventory system, while other times it did do that. Not sure where this inconsistency comes from. I would also like to mention that the spectator mode is a little bit weird because once you go into spectator mode, your entire UI just drops. You have a free camera, so you can't even see the POV of the other person you are trying to spectate. You don't see the health bars of any mobs. You don't see the health bar of your friend. You see nothing. You see the entire game rolling before you, but there isn't any information displayed. So please give me a UI. Show me at least the health bars. Show me the health bar of my friend. Show me the health bar of the mobs and preferably also this is my personal preference but i would like it to showcase the pov of my friend so i can see how bad they are so remember when i said i was going to return to the game being very much incomplete well you've arrived at that point of the video first off the game has only one zone and one boss although pretty cool boss while it showcases the gameplay well and i'm overall okay with what i played it is definitely just a small preview there's also pretty much no systems in the game yet where upgrades are acquired, besides the power-ups you get in the loot rooms. There's no between runs progress and you don't become more powerful over time, which is, in my opinion, a key aspect of roguelike games, and the desire to continue grinding away kind of isn't there. 
overall, I quite liked what I played. And if this game's content size increases significantly, the upgrades you grab between the games are added and the price isn't too high, I can see this game becoming rather successful. Will it become one of the best roguelikes on Steam? Well, I'm not sure about that one. But it definitely is a game that I will be keeping an eye on in the coming years and I wouldn't mind dropping 15 or 20 euros or something down the line to acquire this game. So to finish off this video, I will leave you with one final message. Get those damn shield mobs out of there. They ruined the pacing without any way to efficiently deal with them after one player dies and it drove us mad. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.